something like 95% of the seed uh, that's generated will, will germinate within about 100 yards of where it originated. And so you can just see that continuous walk either up the, up the valley or up your hillsides. And, and that's the one thing is it's starting to move out of our, our steep country and onto our even more productive grasslands. North of here, along the river, the cedars aren't as bad as they are here. You go south along the river, they're worse there than they are here. It is moving upriver. Some people don't understand that, you know, you see a little seedling out there about that tall and you think it's, you know, maybe a year or two old. It's really not. It's about three or four years old. That cedar tree is probably at the same height as your grass level at about three to four years. So when you get to that, about to that eight to ten years, you know, that cedar tree is probably at about five feet, six feet. After eight years, the growth of those cedar trees just really starts exploding. I mean, it just, it's an exponential growth and then you just have a thick cedar forest. This should have been burned uh, 20, 40, 50 years ago when the trees were small. It, you don't have to have a terrible roaring fire to kill a cedar tree that, that's, that is that big. Yeah. And that's where, like Sean said, if we can get a handle on these trees when they're two and three foot tall, yeah. that's a lot more economical and beneficial to do it then than it is when they're 20, 30 foot tall. If they get after them now, when they're a foot and a half, two feet tall, it's gonna take less work, less equipment, there's a lot less danger with it. It, it has to be done and, and they need to get it started now.